Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, boys and girls. How are we all doing today? <laughs> well, as we've discussed yesterday and over the weekend, today I will be answering one or two or three, if time permits, questions that have been posed by the community based on eh, a, a very vague um, concept of philosophy. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I don't know context. I suppose, I suppose I've I uh, some or actually quite a few of our our viewers are interested in or claim that they're interested in what I have to say. So we're we're gonna we're gonna see what I can say, right? <laughs> so uh, how this works. Um, how this works. Questions are posed by the community and chosen and how many? How many did you guys choose? Three or five? Five. Okay. Chosen. No. Three. Chosen by the um, what is it? The, 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 the bedtime story corporation which is Really weird, but there, there, there's a reason they're called the bedtime story. <laughs> so yeah, we will, we, I will, or we, I will be answering a few questions. Um, originally, I had planned for this to be a discussion, but obviously that that makes it quite a bit more difficult to to actually to 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 um, broadcast to the public. So we are simply going to start by having. There we go. Oh, 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 excellent. Uh, by 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 just having me sort of answer some questions, and with the with the with the idea that hopefully that hopefully this can actually spark some discussion within the community, and that we can you know ha 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 have some 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 mildly interesting exchanges of views that aren't necessarily based in current affairs, political affairs, polarization, you know, all of the things that we have to deal with every day. Cool? Cool. <laughs> yes, well, I do feel feel bad for, 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 for our public viewers, but unfortunately there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, so so I, I ideally what what these types of broadcasts will be in the future is we will actually turn these into into Spotify broadcasts, right? Uh, uh, Spotify podcast things. Uh, you'll remember we did one for the Good Morning and then the the, the bedtime story click. Apparently, corporation apparently wants to make this a regular thing. We will see if that works. <laughs> anyway, okay. So let's let's start with the first question. Then. Could you pose the first question? For and just 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 so we're aware, um, I don't actually know these questions. Excuse me. I don't actually know these questions, so I I don't know what's coming at me. Uh, I hope I hope there is no Elon. <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay. We're starting with that one. Uh, <laughs> Okay, one, the meaning of life. Fantastic. Um when I when when we were broadcasting yesterday, I had I had claimed that the meaning of life was actually two answers and that it's actually very, very simple. Uh in well, I had claimed that it's very, very simple because it's technically two two questions or two answers, right? Because uh, you have the meaning of life from the anthropological uh, anthropological perspective, and you have the meaning of life through a more philosophical and and <clears throat> uh, philosophical and how do I say um, big brain perspective. Good morning, Coach. How are you? So I've I've talked about this. Uh, a little bit in the in the community where I have claimed that the human brain is split into two parts the small and big brain and ie the um, instinctual part and the logical part right and we 
the 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 general misconception of of modern society is that we have hmm, how do we say that 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 every action that we take is a considered measured action that is uh that that is that 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 that, that we chose to do right and obviously that is uh, some of you will know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that's not true um simply because f- via our own evolution logic is the big part yes qu- yes which um lo- uh, via evolution and unfortunately I-, I do have to talk about evolution oh one second let me make this a little bit small there we go uh, via evolution, we have this idea that um, we have evolved a whole bunch of instincts. And before our cortex has evolved, we have all of these instincts that came to us uh, th- through through hundreds of millions of years of evolution. And and that, that that's integral to what we do, right? So when I say the meaning of life, the anthropo- anthropological is really easy is to survive if we're able to get to tomorrow then that is the meaning of life to the anthropo- anthropological part of the brain i should actually do that and throw part in the philosophical there we go that actually that actually makes a lot more makes it a lot more interesting uh, but yeah so I, I think it makes sense, right? Like, if, like me, you believe... And, and I know I'm doing all of these hand gestures, and <laughs> they're la- laughing at me for it. <laughs> yes, you. Um, they're laughing at me for it, but I think... Uh, I, I, I do do a lot of hand gestures. I'm not Italian. Um, <laughs> the anthropological uh, part, the meaning of life is very simple. It's to survive, it's to procreate, it's to make sure that the species, on a species level, survive and this is why um, humans outcompeted uh, Neanderthals outcompeted Neanderthals because we were better at um, survival of the species <laughs> I'm not going to go into that portion um, no because that just opens so many. Or it's not that I don't want to discuss it, but it's outside the purview of our idea of the meaning of life for now. The anthropological. Um, there are certain societal repercussions of our ability to ensure the survival of the species. Absolutely, I could not agree with you more on that. Um, but that's not necessarily part of the individualistic meaning of. It. Right. Okay. Next. Now let's talk about philosophical. I'm trying to get to like three-ish questions you've posed. Yeah, we have three questions. I'm trying to get through all three questions, but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that's very much possible. We'll see. <sighs> okay. The philosophical p- uh, portion of our brain has a completely different idea of what life is, right? And that is. Uh, from from my personal understanding, I I would say that um, that 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 if we were all logical and we never had to deal with our with the overriding fight or flight urges that are that are that are pushed on us via the anthro- anthropological part of the brain, um, then then I, th- I think we can all be very, very philosophical. Uh, we, we can all very be rational about the things that we do, right? But in such a world, we would also be missing some... Uh, we would also be missing art as, a, as, a, 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 as an expression because a lot of that art actually arises out of... out of the anthropological part of the brain creating... Un... <coughs> excuse me 
creating uh, creating sort of visions in our mind, right? And so, you know, there, 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 there are a whole set of reasons why um, you can't just take the evolution out of the human brain, you know, as, even besides the art. And so the what is the meaning of life for the philosophical part of the brain? And I think that is a more more interesting question because when I consider the meaning of life, I tend to consider it as okay, let me let me move this up here. Muses uh, considers the meaning to be the search for answers. The search for, um, no, I, I don't want to say answers, the truth, right? So I, that's, that's what I personally consider my meaning, my meaning of life, my meaning of existence, why I'm alive and why I enjoy living every day, why I enjoy living every day is, is, is this idea that I'm able to go out and I'm able to see the truth and find the truth and and really like admire the truth right that that is why I uh, why why every day works for me but part of why this works is actually interestingly it has to do with and uh, with our anthropological self which is that we as humans Evolutionarily, evolutionarily, we are afraid of the dark because there be monsters, right? And 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 we see that play out not just in the individual, but we see that play out on a societal level. We see that there are, there be monsters on a societal level, right? Like nativists are think that foreigners are 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 monsters. Progressives think. Anyone that doesn't agree with them are monsters. Conservatives think that anyone that doesn't agree with them are monsters. All of these things are actually are, 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 are actually a form of protection, right? Living in a a a a, a, a society that you understand is what we crave, but is actually what our anthropological self craves, and so. Even even my idea of my my meaning of searching for the truth is based on this idea that I don't want I don't like not knowing, and and so that is still anthropological, in 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 sort of in in in, in spirit if not in philosophy if that makes sense. So the meaning of life from a philosoph philosophical sense is a lot more complicated and. Uh, <laughs> Yes, I know, I know. I've I've talked about this for ten minutes. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, complicated. And to be answered in the future. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's let's move on. <laughs> well, I mean. Yeah, like I would, I would actually have to give that question some thought, right? Because essentially, what I'm saying here is, is if we can remove the 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 the, the evolutionary urges from the human, what then would the human that is purely the cortex? Like if if we retain everything, but we we remove all of the evolutionary urges, so, such that there is no need to breed, there's like that 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 we're only breeding, eating, and um, actually mostly those are breeding and eating based on logical need as opposed to primal urge, right? And so. <laughs> We should have. actually that uh, that is what the what we are moving slowly f towards. I don't know if you've realized um, both the sponsorship for walking around Japan and bedtime stories and more walking around Japan and all of that have have sort of been inundated, right? Like even even Minecraft tends to be a little bit more philosophical these days than um, than 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 it was before. 
So, yeah, I guess the community is moving itself towards wanting to be uh, pretentious. <laughs> anyway, the point is, we'll talk about the philosophical meaning of life another day. Uh, I can and should write this down so that we know for the future. Philosophical. Um, okay, let's move on to our next question. <laughs> Good job, Quitch. Next question. No, no, no we'll, we'll, we'll do the next question, and then um, when we, when we, uh, we, I'm sure we'll have one of these because we'll have another one of these because the response so far that I'm reading there has been quite amazing. So, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure the, the 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 bedtime story corporation will grow dramatically. Or, or they'll, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll do a merger split, whatever. <laughs> anyway, next question, please. That is that is really funny. That is really funny. Okay, at the beginning of this broadcast, hi Kino, how are you? Um, I'm an engineer. I was I was an engineer. I was an electrical engineer. Well, I trained. My undergraduate was in electrical engineering, but that's about it. Um, the second question that we were just posed. Both this morning in my good morning tweet and at the beginning of this broadcast, I had talked about the fact that I don't want to talk about Elon Musk anymore. And so the second the second question that I'm getting is, if Muses is right, why is Elon doing this? <laughs> okay, first of all, I am right on 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 this particular thing. Second of all, the discussion that we have around Elon Musk is 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 rather interesting because right now everyone is discussing what 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 he claims but Elon's claims don't actually like like they're going before McCormick today I believe in Delaware so I really want to see what she says but in my view the contract like uh, he can't keep getting away from Rick, you know, you're right. And I, I certainly, at this point, I keep saying this, right? Right now, it's no longer Elon versus... It's no longer Elon versus Twitter. It's Elon versus the Delaware Chancery Courts, where half of the United States corporations are based. In fact, half of the corporations that I work with, that half... Actually, hold on, let me let me think about this. I think three quarters of, of the people that are in our server are working for, yes, yeah, about three quarters of, of you lot are, are working for companies that are based in Delaware. Because Delaware Chancery Law is is good and sort of, it's it's considered fair, fast, uh, fair, um, it doesn't drag things out. Okay, one second. Uh, right now, it's Elon versus Delaware. Right, and so the Delaware Chancery Courts are considered some of the best because they are fit, relatively fair. Um, <laughs> thank you, Kino. Uh, they are relatively fair. Um, and they respond quickly. And what is the last part that I wanted to say? Um, are, are 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 considered the basis of actually U.S. corporate might simply because be, be, be because of the way that the Delaware Chancery Courts are 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 set up. So if I am right, uh, let me address this part. I am right. Because uh, Elon Elon has been way too transparent about m trying to trying to get out of the deal, 
I can't type today. Why are there so many Elon discussions? I wish I could tell you that, Quitch, because I really don't want to talk about Elon anymore. Like we've talked about my boy so much. It's just like just get I don't want I don't want to deal with him anymore. <laughs> oh, um uh, while, while we're on this top actually no we'll we'll talk about it offline. No, that's fine. And Elon has been transparent about trying to get out of this deal. The contract signed with Twitter does not um is very clear about what happens, right? So, so the the point about Delaware also I, that I didn't mention, um, very clear about the enforcement of contracts, and 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 having proper contracts being properly enforced is one of those really anal and art and, and boring, but one of the most important things about corporate like like that, that that gives corporations the the confidence to do what they what they want to do to grow and as, essentially they know that that if there is a dispute it will be resolved in a fair manner and therefore they're able to take risks right and so if um consider consider you're living in say for example um, Poland, where the courts are not are, are 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 sort of politically stacked, then as a business, as a business, if you do business in a way that the PIS, which is the ruling party in Poland, likes, then you do well. In fact, the courts will be biased towards you. But if you do business in a way that the PIS doesn't like for example if you if you if you do import instead of instead of hiring local poles or you know like you 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 you, you try to you try to give equal rights to all of your all, all, all of your workers etc etc like then then the courts will be stacked against you and that is draining to innovation right and so part of the reason why the US is so powerful why capitalism was able to flourish and why that capitalism then brought about the u.s being the richest country in the world is because the delaware chancery courts are considered the best and the fairest and therefore people could take risks and if you failed you knew that if someone if someone tried to fuck you they would they would they would the the the, 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 the judges there would have your back Right, like enforcement of contracts, um, fairness on contracts without political interference, political cultural interference. That's not to say the judges themselves don't have, you know, their own political leanings. Whatever, that's that's perfectly understandable. Um, it's it's the fact that the chancery courts would. Would, would do their best, utmost best, to ensure that there was a level playing field for all corporations and that bigger corporations couldn't take advantage of small ones. Obviously, you know, like it spawned the whole lawyer industry, whatever, the corporate law industry, and, you know, part of what sustains this server is <laughs> are some of my boys and girls that, that bill, you know, like four digits an hour. And, and, <laughs> But but the the, the the point remains that um, the chancery courts are fair, and are are are, are fair-ish, right? Uh, I should say. <laughs> Unfortunately, Unfortunately spawned the spawned the whole uh, corporate law industry that sustains also sustains my streams because some of my boys and girls still hold digits per hour and and so yeah like uh, obviously there there's a whole dislike about lawyers in in, in the world and, and and you you can kind of tell why i mean obviously having worked with some of you i can definitely tell why but <laughs> 
the, well, the point remains that um, as of right now, I, I, why is Elon doing this? Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go back to the why. Um, because he wants out of the no. Like I already typed that. He wants to. He's trying to get out of the deal, and he's trying, and he's using his money to buy lawyers to try to get him out of the deal. But they are living. They are using arguments that only work on like their arguments like our, 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 our lawyers in the group have, have talked about this at, at length I have talked about this at length the, the arguments that he is using are fundamentally irrelevant to the case right only work on uneducated on, on those not um, who did not read the uh, the agreements because there is nothing in the agreements that actually says that Twitter needed to do uh, that, that, that like everything that he's claiming that Twitter is doing wrong and therefore he can get out of the deal is actually not part of the purchasing agreement so therefore fucking just like the <laughs> You know how badly it frustrates me when someone when someone claims he doesn't need to do dilig does not need to do due diligence and then tries to back out of a deal. That is the most obnoxiously annoying thing a person can do. Oh, did my face freeze? Yes. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, excuse me. Let me try to reconnect. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> the thing that annoys me the most is that he waived his right to due diligence. If he did not, then he could back straight out of it with no issue. But he didn't because of um I don't know intellectual handicap and is now being forced to play in an alternative universe where the things he says matters <laughs> let let me be very clear about this last sentence because he did not do uh, he not he did not do due diligence he is now being forced to play in an alternative universe where the things he says actually matters materially to the case materially to the case but in our universe the things he says does not matter materially to the case because of the agreement that he signed to buy twitter does that are we, are we clear on that we can't we can but I won't. We can go through the contract line by line and I can tell you exactly where it doesn't say any of the shit that he claims that it says. Because <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that that's a, a very tortured sentence, but it's true. It's simply true. The, the the claims that he's making, he's literally claiming, oh, there's too many bots. But then he he was also originally claiming, oh, there are too many bots, and therefore I want to I want to buy Twitter and clean it up, right? Like it's the the the, the entire thing is just nonsense and upon nonsense upon nonsense. It's just <laughs> I will in the future veto questions about Elon Musk not because I want to uh, I I I want to gag the discussion but because there's nothing left for me to say right on 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 okay until mccormick does her ruling which unfortunately does is today actually <laughs> shit until mccormick does her ruling on whether the case proceeds in an accelerated fashion like twitter wants or in a delayed fashion like elon wants oh actually let's talk about that real quick uh elon wants to delay the 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 hearing 
because his funding definitely runs out in 2023, in April 2023. And, and so if the hearing is delayed and they, they do a lot of appeals, then he can legitimate, legitimately claim that his funding disappeared and cancel the, the deal, right? Like that, that, that's, that's so clearly why he wants to delay, delay the, the, the hearing. It's, 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 oh. <laughs> anyway, 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 we are done for today. It's been 30 minutes, it's been 15 minutes of me being angry and not, not, I'm not even angry at Elon, I'm angry at you lot for not listening to what I'm saying, right? Like, like, those of us who are here, who, who are explaining these things to you, are doing this out of, like, literally we gain nothing from having, uh, from explaining this to you. And yet you then go out and you lo read what he says and thinks that he, what, he's correct? No, that's stupid. <laughs> well, he he has he has every reason to mislead his viewers, right? Let's let's be very clear. Elon has every reason to mislead his viewers because he um, has seen that he can thrive, that uh, his popularity, popularity can thrive based on um, being cast as the underdog, right? And how galling is it that the richest person in the world is trying to claim that he is the underdog? How galling is it that the richest person in the world is claiming to be the underdog? when he clearly just made a mistake in not asking, in not, not requiring due diligence, right? Like that's just, it's, it's, it, uh, the sheer stupidity of it is just, um, oh, sorry, Twitch, that you don't understand. <laughs> um, suffice it to say, Elon Musk is not a good person. <laughs> <laughs> anyway we are done for today yeah thank you very much for watching <laughs> no but thank you thank you very much for watching in conclusion please download firefox please don't do crap <laughs> no 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 we'll, we'll, we'll continue this don't worry and yeah so um tomorrow we're doing walking around japan is Muses a good person? Muses is an excellent person. Okay, let's 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 be completely honest. Muses is a fantastic person. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put that out there. No. <laughs> well, okay. So so on uh, on on the subject of Muses, that's actually a good 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 thing to talk about. On the subject of, I do have like three minutes, so I'm going to talk about this. Um, I like to think that I am a good person trying to help make my corner of the world a slightly better place. I have my own foibles that I try to control. Um, and I am sometimes a bit of a, uh, no, a bit pushy as a boss. I, I really am, but, but you know, like, that's, you know, being a tech exec. <laughs> right, I am, so, um, but that is why Elon Musk is personally offensive to <laughs> me. So, uh, let me make this clear. I'm not saying these things about Elon because I, uh, because he's personally offensive to me, because he really is. Um, but I'm saying these things because it's an affront to general working law, 
right? We talked about before uh, earlier about how Delaware is the core of what ma makes American corporations so powerful and able to take the risks that innovate our world and make our world a better place. And Elon's behavior is undermining that very thing. And if Delaware is undermined, I, I want to make this perfectly clear. If Delaware is undermined, the U.S. will fall along with it. Not not fall as in like disappear into 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 component states, blah blah blah. But its position at the top of the world will be undermined. Okay. Am I scary as a boss? I don't think so. Am I scary as a boss? Am I scary as a boss? <laughs> Am I scary? <laughs> a sea of nodding heads outside my door. <laughs> uh, what 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 was the timing on this? It was just thirty five minutes. If Delaware falls. It it will lead to the U.S. lose. It will lead to the U.S. losing its position at the top of the world within half a century. Okay. Well, yeah, this has gone on for way too long. So uh, I should say again. <laughs> So no, I, I so 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 the 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 answer is n no. I'm not a scary boss, right? If I if I were a scary boss and I asked them that, they would obviously not all be nodding and grinning at me like little chimpanzees. Anyway, we are done for today. Thank you very much for watching. In conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> In conclusion, please download Firefox. I said this already, but please download Firefox. Please don't do Chrome. And tomorrow we'll be walking around Japan and presumably talking about something mildly philosophical. <sighs> Wink.